Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching Magnet television because what else are you going to do? Hi, this is Lily Hyatt coming at you from my place in Nashville, Tennessee. Hi. I would say my favorite song of all time, and that's really difficult to uh, answer because really I have 10 of those probably. But if I have to whittle it down to just one, Heart of Gold would be my choice. Uh, that's a beautiful song. It's the kind of song that made me want to write songs. And it has the perfect amount of sorrow and drive to it. And uh, there's yearning in there and very relatable tune. Even if you're not sure exactly what Neil is talking about, you can kind of uh, make it your own. So, yeah, I guess that's the tune I'd pick. So that I think that um, my favorite song is also on my favorite album, which is Harvest by Neil Young. And uh, that's definitely a record that changed my life and made me think about things differently than I had before I'd heard it. Um, it's got personal elements. It's got political elements. And they coincide with each other in such a relatable way that uh, that record is timeless and it will always be relevant. So I play it very often here in my house. Pearl Jam, Night 2 at Wrigley Field 2016, a concert that blew my mind. Um, I drove to Chicago with my friend Leon, and we got there. The energy was electric. Everybody was out. It was a sunny day. I'd never been to Wrigley Field before, even though I've been to Chicago a bunch and I knew all about it. Um, it was an incredible night. Dennis Rodman came out, picked up Eddie Vedder. Pearl Jam played Black, Red, Yellow, which is a song about Dennis Rodman and basketball. And, um, yeah, there was just this overall really inspired, joyful vibe that permeated the air. And I'm so happy I got to be there. They also used footage from that night in the Pearl Jam Let's Play 2 documentary they made about Pearl Jam at Wrigley Field. So... I'm, I'm honored that I got to be a part of any of it just by, like, watching the show. One night at the Basement East at a show with Robin Hitchcock, who is one of my favorite artists, um, I was playing kind of all new songs with my band, and I had my Rickenbacker ready. I actually think I was borrowing my guitar player's Rickenbacker at the time, and it was kind of new to me how to uh, handle it and everything, and my dad had come to see me play, and he doesn't always make it to my shows, so that's always special to me. In a hometown show, I always want to do really well, um, and I had a tuning malfunction. My tuner just went wild. It started glowing and making all these different colors and numbers at me, and I just froze. I didn't know what to do. And you know, when you can tell someone's having a hard time and you can see them on stage looking uncomfortable, that's uncomfortable for everybody. So it only lasted probably like five minutes, but it felt like an eternity. And from that, I learned how to do a, a little uh, tuning talk, if you will, to avoid those awkward moments uh, in the future. This is Lily Hyatt, and you're watching Magnet Television. Sine.